Hi everyone and welcome to Island Block. Now today we'll be showing you how to use Pancake Swap. Now I'm sure you've heard of Pancake Swap a lot. Now Pancake Swap is a decentralized exchanger. Unlike your regular centralized exchangers like Binance, Huobi and KuCoin, you have to interface with Pancake Swap through your wallet. You have to find a way to connect to your personal crypto wallet. So to do this, you can either use MetaMask on your PC or you can use Trust Wallet on your mobile device or SafePal. But currently, I'm using SafePal. I use SafePal because I love their UI. It's astounding and very easy to navigate. Now, the first thing you need to do is you need to deposit BNB on your, in your wallet. Now, the BNB you have to deposit is bnb through the binance smart chain now i'll show you the difference if i click here you would see the normal bnb which is the bp2 now if you check the wallet address you can see that it starts from bnb but this is not the bnb we are going to be using we are going to be using the second one which is the bnb bp20 it's called the binance smart chain the reason is because PancakeSwap is built on the Binance Smart Chain. So that way, we can easily transact and fees are way affordable, way more affordable compared to using the ERC20 blockchain, the Ethereum blockchain. So now, you copy this address and then you would head over to either your Binance wallet or any wallet you would like to withdraw from and make sure you withdraw through the BEP20 or BSC, you would either see BP20 or BSC, which is Binance Smart Chain, and then you withdraw or send BNB to this wallet through this wallet address. Now, you need to be very, very careful because if you send BNB to this one, you cannot use this BNB to interface with PancakeSwap and other decentralized exchanges that are built on the Binance Smart Chain. So you make sure you send BP20, which is Binance Smart Chain. Now it's still the same thing as BNB. If you notice, you see the dollar value is still the same, just a slight difference. Now, but it's still the exact same thing as BNB. So don't think there's any difference. Now the second thing you have to do is after you've sent the BNB and you now have a BNB in your wallet address in your balance, you now come over here at the bottom. You click this place. Now, when you come here, you will see some of the decentralized exchanges that you can connect your wallet to. You see Pancake Swap over here. And if I scroll down, I can see the ones that are built on the Binance Smart Chain, which is for the BSC. So you can see the one inch built on BSC. You can see Sushi Swap. You can see the Pancake Farm. You can see the bakery swap and you can see several others as well. But for this class, I'll be taking you through pancake swap. So now you click here. So by the time you tap here, you wait for the page to load. Now this is an inbuilt browser in your wallet application. So this browser that takes you directly to the pancake swap um, page and directly interfaces your wallet with the page so that way you notice that you're automatically connected now in some cases you might have to click here and connect your wallet but in most cases it connects automatically so after doing this the next thing you now have to do is you can see my bnb balance showing here like i said earlier on the bnb balance that will show here is the bnb sent to the bsc which is the binance smart chain so make sure you send BNB through the Binance Smart Chain. Now, the next thing you have to do is you now need to search for the coin or the token you want to buy. So you come over here and click select currency. And when you tap it, you can now search through the coins that are currently listed here. So you find the one you are interested in getting and then you can click on it. So let's say, for example, I want to buy BUSD. 
I would like to swap my BNB for BUSD. So now that I have tapped BUSD, all I have to do is now enter the amount of BNB I would like to spend. Or I would enter the amount of BUSD I would like to get. So let's say I want to get um, $20 worth of BUSD. $20. So automatically they are showing me how much, um, how many BNB I'm going to spend for this transaction. Then I'm satisfied with that. I click on swap. They are showing me how many BNB I'm going to spend for this transaction. So now that I'm satisfied with that, I will click on swap over here. And I will tap confirm swap. So at this point, I am now waiting for the transaction to be confirmed and for my BNB to be swapped for BUSD. Then the next step is for me to approve the transaction. So I click OK. And then I'll have to verify the transaction. And the transaction has now been submitted. So if I would like to see the processing of the transaction, how it is being processed and, you know, know how long it's going to take, I will just click here, view on BSC scan. This is the Binance Smart Chain scanner to track the transaction, the Binance, um, the Explorer. So when I click on view on BSC scan, I'm taken to the page where I can see the transaction. And I'll just wait for this to load. And as you can see, it is showing me that it is a success. So the transaction is successful. So I can now come here and see other details. I spent $20 worth of wrapped BNB to get um, $20 worth of BUSD. And I paid a transaction fee of 0.36 US dollars. So by the time I go back to pancake swap to the transaction and to check my bnb balance i would notice that my bnb has now reduced it is not what it was before and if i want to swap back i just have to search for busd and now i have 20 dollars worth of busd which i didn't have before so i can now decide to swap this back for bnb so all you need to do to swap back is you click here so this swaps their position so this goes up and this comes down or this comes up and this goes down so now i want this up because i want to sell the busd back for bnb so i do this i press max because i want to sell everything then i approve the transaction by this by approving the transaction i am permitting pancake swap to access my busd the busd on my wallet now i explained earlier on that this is a decentralized exchanger not a centralized exchange where you just send your coins to and once you send your coins to the exchange they just um, take your coin so this is a decentralized exchanger meaning i'll have to approve and permit any and every transaction and then i tap swap and i confirm the swap i press ok so now i'm confirming the swap of the busd to change back to my bnb and so now that i've pressed that it's showing me that the transaction has been submitted and i can also view the transaction on bsc scan so if you'd like to also see that and know um if the transaction is successful you just click on view and as you can see it is successful already i have successfully swapped my busd back to bnb and i did not pay any fee for this particular transaction so if i go back to my wallet and let's say i want to now check for bnb sorry i want to check for busd so i put this at the top i search for busd and now as you can see i no longer have any busd at all I have swapped it back for 
BNB. I can repeat the process for any coin I would like to buy or sell that I know that is listed on PancakeSwap. Now, another thing I would like to show you is, let's say, for example, you want to buy a coin on PancakeSwap and you scroll, you scroll down and you can't find that particular coin or token listed here on PancakeSwap. Let's say, for example, I want to get Xcore and I'm not sure it's here. Okay, so Xcore is not here. XCUR. And let's say I want to buy the coin, but it's not currently here. Now, what I need to do is I will just go all the way to CoinGecko. So now, the CoinGecko app is where you can check prices and get more information on coins. So I will now come over here and search for the coin, which is Xcore. So XCUR. And now that I've seen it, I tap it and then I scroll down and I try to get the contract address. So this is the contract address. I'll press show and then I'll copy the contract address for the Binance Smart Chain. So I copy that. Then I can now go back to PancakeSwap. And now that I'm back on PancakeSwap, I can now paste the wallet address here so i'll tap this section then i'll paste the wallet address here and now the coin has come up and now i can now click on it and i can now decide to swap my bmb for xco so i just tap maybe maximum and i can get 1.7 xco so that is that about that now but before you try and buy or sell any coin on pancake swap you need to actually check and be sure that that coin is listed on pancake swap so to do that you'd first check coin gecko or coin market cap anyone you prefer to use so this is coin gecko so now let's say i was interested in buying x core all i have to do is i'll come over to exchanges and then i can now scroll down and i can see that this is actually listed on pancake swap meaning i can buy it from pancake swap so this way i have found out that it is on pancake swap and i can buy it on pancake swap so for coins that might not be listed that don't exist on pancake swap even if you copy the contract address and go to pancake swap you won't be able to buy it from pancake swap so you need to make sure that the coin is on pancake swap before you can buy or sell on pancake so that is all for now later on i'll do a video that will explain to you how you can provide liquidity how you can farm how you can stake on pancake swap thank you so much for watching and have an awesome time bye bye